Night owls out there, you're going to want to keep an eye in the sky tonight after such a gorgeous day we've had today because tonight we're going to have a total lunar eclipse. Domenis, uh, I understand the moon is going to be turning red. Yeah, kind of spooky, right? <laughs> yeah, the wolves might be out too <laughs> as we go through tonight, but a total lunar eclipse. What's so funny is that the total lunar eclipse doesn't get as much love as a total solar eclipse. Well, let's get excited about it and maybe stay up a little late or wake up early, early in the morning, but it's going to start out after midnight, a partial eclipse very slowly here as we head through later tonight, about 109 in the morning, and you'll gradually start to see as the moon shifts into Earth's shadow, the moon starting to take this hue red color here. You'll see right there, more of a deepish red color. A maximum eclipse there, totality about 2.58 in the morning, and then gradually it will slowly start to go away here as a partial eclipse. And then we'll say goodbye to this phenomena out there. Now, here's the deal about it. It's also called the blood worm moon. Yes, it's going to be a full moon out there, deep red color. Uh, special glasses aren't needed like you would during a solar eclipse, but there will likely be some clouds around. Just keep that in mind late tonight. And totality will last about 66 minutes, so a little bit more than an hour. There's the hourly forecast. You will need to bundle up if you're going to be out and about late tonight to see uh, the total lunar eclipse. And you'll see the clouds as well as we head toward 5 o'clock in the morning temperatures at 36 degrees.